the Laplace transform of a time domain signal 1 minus e power t divided by t multiplied to ut is. So we are having a time domain signal and we are required to calculate its corresponding bilateral Laplace transform. There are four options and we need to choose the correct option. So let's see how we can solve this question. We are having a time domain signal. Let's say the time domain signal is ft and it is equal to 1 minus e power t multiplied to unit step signal ut in numerator and in denominator we are having t. Now looking at signal ft, it is clear that we are having one time domain signal in numerator and this time domain signal in numerator is divided by t and according to the integration in frequency domain property we know if there is a time domain signal yt having the bilateral Laplace transform equal to ys then when you divide yt by its own independent variable means t you will have the corresponding bilateral Laplace transform equal to integration from s to infinity ys which is the Laplace transform of the initial time domain signal and we are performing the integration with respect to s. So we know this property and here we can see that we can use this property because here we are having one time domain signal divided by t the same case. So let's say the signal in numerator is yt. This makes yt equal to 1 minus e power t multiplied to ut. Now I will open this bracket and we will have ut minus e power t multiplied to ut and we have assumed the Laplace transform of yt as ys. So now we will take the Laplace transform on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. So we will have ys on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 1 over s minus 1 over s minus 1. We are having 1 over s because it is the Laplace transform of ut and we are having 1 over s minus 1 because this is the Laplace transform of e power t multiplied to ut and we are having the negative sign because we have negative sign here and according to the linearity property when we perform the subtraction in time domain we also need to perform the subtraction in frequency domain. Now I will quickly explain you how I have obtained 1 over s minus 1 as the Laplace transform of e power t multiplied to ut. It is very easy to calculate the Laplace transform of this time domain signal because we know the frequency shifting property. According to the frequency shifting property, if we have a time domain signal, let's say ut, having the Laplace transform which is 1 over s and when you multiply the time domain signal by the exponential e power a t in this scenario the Laplace transform will change to 1 over s minus a. Here we are having the positive sign so we will have negative sign here. Now if you compare e power t with e power a t you will find a is equal to 1. So in place of a we will have 1 and in this scenario we are going to get 1 over s minus 1. So we have the Laplace transform ys and now we will focus on the calculation of Laplace transform of signal ft which is let's say fs and we know ft is equal to yt over t yt over t is equal 
to signal ft and yt over t is having the laplace transform equal to integration s to infinity ys ds this makes this laplace transform the laplace transform of ft as well and we have assumed the laplace transform of ft is equal to fs so fs which we actually want to calculate is equal to integration s to infinity ys ds we have already calculated ys and now we will substitute ys it is equal to 1 over s minus 1 over s minus 1 after this we will perform the integration and we know the integration of 1 over s is equal to log s and integration of 1 over s minus 1 is equal to log s minus 1. So we can write the Laplace transform fs equal to log s minus log s minus 1 and the range of integration is from s to infinity and we know log m minus log n can be written as log m divided by n and in our case this s here is equal to m and s minus 1 is equal to n so in the next step we will write fs equal to log s divided by s minus 1 now in the next step we will put the upper and lower limits of integration we will have log infinity over infinity minus 1 from here we are getting infinity by infinity which is undefined form so we will solve it using the limit s is tending to infinity log s divided by s minus 1 or we can write s inside the bracket 1 minus 1 over s this s and this s will cancel out and now we will put the lower limit which is s so we are having log s divided by s minus 1 now we will put s equal to infinity here so we will have fs equal to log 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over infinity 1 over infinity is equal to 0 so we finally have log 1 minus log s divided by s minus 1 log 1 is equal to 0 so the Laplace transform fs is equal to minus log s divided by s minus 1 and we know m log n is equal to log n power m here we are having minus 1 so we can write it as the power so we will have fs equal to log s divided by s minus 1 with power minus 1 and when we have when we have log m divided by n with power as minus 1 then it is equal to log n divided by m we will follow the same rule and we will write the laplace transform as log s minus 1 divided by s so this is our final answer and when you check the four options you will find option b is the correct option so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section